go. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Jerron Fit, coming to you live. Well, not actually live, but real as fuck to you from the Pump Chasers Gym. Uh, today, I'm gonna do a tutorial vid for you guys, man. You guys have been liking the tutorial vids, so I'm gonna keep doing them, man. And uh, I'm gonna keep a focus on very important foundation exercises that everybody should do. I don't care whether you bodybuild or what. If you lift weights or you try to build a strong back, this is an excellent movement for you. And it's the bar, bell, bench, over, row. That should be a foundation of anybody's back building uh, routine. Of course, in combination with the pull-ups. I mean, if you follow me and you've been watching the channel, I shouldn't have to say nothing about pull-ups. But this and the T-bar bent over row are one of my favorite things for building muscle in the back, man. You know what I'm saying? The barbell bent over row, what it, help, what it helps does, it helps build overall back thickness, okay? Now, like I said before, depending on what hand grip you use, overhand grip or underhand grip is where that will target at. Overhand, so we think overhand grip will be more of the upper back here region, your upper back, you know what I'm saying? If you're using an underhand grip, you're gonna hit more of the lower lats, okay? That lower thing back, go ahead, spread the wings, okay? And that's kind of what any back movement, really not with just the barbell bent over row, even on your lap, your lap pull downs, you know what I'm saying? When you use overhand grip, think more upper back. When you go underhand grip, think more lower mid back. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to take with you, okay? If you ever were wondering what the difference is in between those movements. Now, the reason I saw fit to do this tutorial vid on barbell bent over row, to be honest with you, is because I see a lot of people doing this incorrectly. You know what I'm saying? For real, real talk. Like, I see a lot of ego lifting with the barbell bent over row. I see a lot of weight moving, but not a lot of gains being made, back not looking nice, okay? Cool, you can do five plates on, on, on the barbell bent over row, but I tell me like this, show me on what round do you lift weights on stage in a bodybuilder contest? What round is the bench press round? What round is the squat round? You know what I'm saying? What round is the, the, the deadlift round, okay? Because I'll tell you what, the nigga who lifted with most weights don't look, don't win the competition. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you shouldn't be strong, but like I said, man, lifting these weights properly, with good form and good technique. Now granted, it's gonna be a couple sloppy reps in there from time to time to get the weight up. One or two bad reps ain't gonna kill you, but if you start enough, jump first, set out the gate, it's sloppy, you wasting your time, you're not gonna do nothing, man. It's not, unless you just started lifting weights yesterday and you get those newbie gains, if you don't lift this weight properly, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with proper minimal weight. Look at this here, 145, real 45 on each side, man. I think if you guys have watched me, you pretty know I'm fucking pretty strong, man. But I'm telling you, I can hit this weight right here for a barbell bent over uh, for a workout for my back and get a good ass squeeze and pump and contraction because I do it right. That's the thing. So sometimes when you gotta swallow your ego and your pride, take a 45 pound off and get the shit done right. Now, as you probably gotta see, I'll use wrist wraps. So only, t I mean, honestly. When I train back, I usually always use wrist wraps, okay? And people say, well, what are we got about your grip strength? Well, I'm training back. I'm not training forearms. I'm not training for my hip grip strength. There's other stuff you can do to work on your grip strength. You need to be working on your back if you're doing barbell bits over rows. Grab a damn one of those things, sit at your damn desk, get working, squeeze and stuff like that. Gotta work your grip strength too, okay? We trying to build a big back. So with that being said, why do you use wrist wraps? Wrist wraps take your grip strength out of the equation. So say if you just have weak ass grip strength, you can't grip the bar, but you gotta work with your grip strength before you can lift some heavy ass weights. No, that's stupid. Get some every wraps, wrap it around the bar, and lift some heavy ass weights, okay? So that's why I use wrist wraps, even on the low weight. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now, into the tutorial fit for the barbell bent over row, okay? I see some people do uh, this off of elevated surface, like high up. Uh, I don't really do that, maybe because I have longer arms and I don't feel the need to because I, I mean I got pretty long arms, okay? Now, if you're doing it that way and you're feeling a good contraction and your back is getting dope and big, by all means do it. I just don't want to be up in the gym, my ass up in the air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> something like that, personally. That's from a personal standpoint, you know what I'm saying? But do your thing. So, alright? So when I come here to the bar walk up, now, my foot position, I like to use a narrow foot position. If you like to go slightly wider, that's fine. I like to go slightly narrow, here, okay? So, hand position, okay? So, if you wanna think about where my hands go, okay? 
gonna walk up to the bar. These are my markers. This one, every bar has the same markers, okay? Here, foot, feet here, in line with here, hands on the line. Simple as that. Simple as that. Does not get any simpler than that. Right there, bang, okay? Boom, you in position. Now, I'm gonna put my wraps on a second, but I'm gonna tell you how to ex go to do the lift first, okay? So once I am here, okay? When I'm locked in, okay? I see people do this all the time. They'll get the weight, come up to here and do this. No. Once you're here, you lift the weight. The weight should be lifted from here to here. That is the lift. That is not, that is a lift. When I see people come up like this, that's a fucking barbell shoulder shrug, motherfucker. That's training the traps, okay? If you feel the pump, and you're doing traps, you're not, it's not that you're doing it wrong, okay? You know what I'm saying? I have yet to see a person do a strict form barbell bent over row, bent over properly, executed here with like five or six plates. So I, I'm not seeing it. Now, I've seen people shoulder shrug that much, okay? <laughs> but another thing I always tell the people, man, a person can lie, but contractions won't. I'm gonna say it again. A person can lie if they mouth, but muscle contractions don't lie, okay? Pay attention to how your muscles can, pay attention to how my muscles are contracting during this movement. You can see what is being trained, okay? Now, back to where, back to here. Remember, use these markers, okay? Here, feet in between here. Bam, okay? This is where I'm gonna go here. You don't wanna go too narrow, but then you don't wanna go too, too wide. Right about here on the lines, okay? So, put my straps, boom. Boom, So I get a good grip. Boom. Now, when I pull, when you pull, think about pulling your elbows behind your body, okay? That is the execution of the movement, okay? So here, I'm going to pull my elbows behind my body. Pull. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Contraction don't lie to me. Ooh! Look at that. <clears throat> All right, that's the overhand grip, okay? Remember, boom, leans over, boom, bent over, boom, locked at the hips, body bent over, a slight bend in your back. You don't want to you don't want to lift with a back like this. I guess you call it a cat back. You don't want to have a damn cat back, okay? <laughs> Looking like this, boom, bent over, pull to the elbows or behind the body. Think about you pulling your elbows toward the ceiling, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the reverse grip, and remember. Overhand grip, upper back more, more targets upper back. Underhand grip is gonna target more here, lower to mid back, okay? Now, what I say with the underhand grip, to be real with you, that one, I will move in a little more narrow. So, sometimes I'll do that grip out here, okay? And then sometimes I'll come in here closer see sometimes I'll come in here boom but then sometimes I'll come out here okay and the reason for that is like I said back there's so many muscles in the back it's hard to hit everything in the back with just one grip okay so I just feel like here I'm more mid back here then but when I come in tighter I feel it more so straight up and straight through the middle up here that's what a person don't know try that out you know what I'm saying see if you feel the same way but the thing with back, you gotta be hella creative because there's so many fucking muscles in the back, man. So much to train. So you always wanna try to hit it from different angles. So I'm gonna show you this uh, reverse grip next. And it's the same principle. Same foot position, but remember like I said, my arm position, or excuse me, my hand position will be different. Uh, I'm gonna use a more narrow hand position. And remember, man, you are squeezing with the weight. You're squeezing with the weight. You're not bouncing. You're not jerking. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it's done. Okay? Same thing. My back, boom. Look up, look up, boom. And watch. Elbows behind the body. Two. Traction don't do not lie, man. Contractions don't lie. Like I say, the thing about, there's a time that you really want to just focus on pure strength. And I feel like when you just start lifting out, absolutely, you need to find out how fucking strong you are and push those limits, because you got a lot of time. But it's kind of like, you should have, it should be like a laser beam kind of sort of, you know what I'm saying? 
it can start out the focus of a laser beam starts out wide and it becomes you know narrow focus, more focused that's how you should be when you start to lift you know you start out shit because you don't know anything but you shouldn't be lifting the same way two years, three years down the road. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying I went to school and I know the same shit from seventh grade and it was ninth grade. That's fucking unacceptable. <laughs> That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? So continue to grow and develop not only as a person, but you know what I'm saying, in the gym. Um, so just a couple pointers, man. Things to remember. Take focus on muscle contraction. Especially on back because you can't see it. When you train your chest, you can look and say, okay, wow, my chest is contracting, my chest is popping. When it comes to back, you have to have a mind muscle connection, you know what I'm saying? Contract the back and control the muscles. See what I'm saying? Contract them, come in. Feel me? Boom. And contract the back. You feel me? So, when you're lifting, Take the ego. Yes, you want to lift heavy weight. Absolutely. But if we are look up training for muscle development, form and technique is always going to supersede uh, the ego lifting. So I hope you guys like this tutorial vid. Uh, any questions, absolutely put them at the bottom. And I'll definitely hit you back. Uh, I'll be doing some more tutorial vids because you guys like them. So I'm going to keep it coming. Uh, keep supporting the channel. Don't forget to follow me on IG, Jerron Fit. Uh, and don't forget to get your gear at Pump Chasers. You know how we roll. Peace out.